We're on? We're on. Oh, hey everybody. Happy Friday and happy 4th of the year. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video and let y'all know thank you so much for all of your support throughout the last year. And here's to a better year coming. I want to wish y'all happy late holidays. I hope your holidays were wonderful. I hope the new year treated you good and that you were able to have fun, all that good stuff. And I'm wishing you all the best that this year has to offer you. Well, now that that's out of the way, how y'all doing? Welcome. It's been a bit. Um, I know usually we do free spell Fridays, but this Friday I want to do a couple of things. First thing, um, the Wheel of the Year forecasts are still available up until the 15th of this month. So if you want, get your space now. Those are available through either here on the Facebook page, our website, www.louisianacurioshop.com, or you can email us at louisianacurioshop at yahoo.com if you have any questions or Facebook us through here, what have you. And please, please, please share this video, like this video throughout Facebook. This is going to be on our YouTube channel. So if you love our YouTube channel, subscribe, smash that like button and share it all over the place like crack candy. Now, business is out of the way for the most part. Um, I wanted to touch also on the fact that soon enough, because of the new year, we're going to be coming out with new products, new oil blends. Hey, huh? Candles. Oh, there'll be candles. We're going to be doing some candles as well, too. There'll be, of course, soaps all coming up. So please stay tuned to all of our media on that. We're also on Twitter. Oh, not on Twitter, excuse me. We're on um, Instagram as well at Louisiana Curio Shop. Mm -hmm. on Instagram, so we'll be putting up more Instagram stuff too. So, now that all that's done and our plugs are kind of done, um, I want to touch on something that's kind of been going on recently. A lot of people have been touching on this subject. And instead of free spell, I want to touch on the importance of ancestors, your ancestors. Every time I give y'all a spell to do or a work to do, I always tell you, work with your ancestors and your spirits. Now... Your ancestors can be amazing vaults of information, wisdom, a wealth of magical understanding, as well as a wealth of um, experience that you could tap into. However, comma, they can also cross you up, mess you up, close your roads, and make you think about yourself because they're your ancestors. And those are our first line of defense. Those are the people that we go to are our people to get our foundations, especially if you're doing any type of spiritual work, um, root work, any type of witchcraft, whatever you're doing, and it's the building block of all ATRs and ADRs, you got to reference your ancestors. So you're going to have to do the research to find out, A, who's with you, as well as B, where are your ancestry is coming from. That's why I like that 23andMe stuff, because it lets you research what your family was about, who they were about, and gives you a little bit more leverage and power there too to be able to make your stuff work better for you and have a better life as well and not make the same mistakes. You know the whole deal. But for the most part, when people tell me they're going to go and talk to this this saint or that saint, even though the saints, anybody can access them, but I have to tell them, like, look, are you sure you want to work with that spirit? Is that in line with your ancestors and your guides? And I'll do another video on your spiritual court and spirit guides later and their importance, but... It, your ancestors can close many a door because if you're going to go outside to talk to a terrible stranger for, and ask for something, meanwhile, your mom's right there or your dad's right there, that's disrespectful. So you should first go to your line and friends your ancestors. And I don't mean everybody because you know what? If your Uncle John was an asshole in life, he probably still is after death. So if he didn't like you, don't open a relationship or a combo with that. Talk to your elevated ancestors who love and, and watch over you. Like if you were had a great time with Grandpa, y'all were tight, call on Grandpa. If you had a great time with Aunt Madge because, you know, she baked cookies, knew you were gay and took you out to all the fabulous places, talk to Aunt Madge. As long as you have your blood ties there, strengthen them. Talk about them. Talk to them if you, go to, if you have an ancestor shrine or, or sit there and meditate with them. They will give you energy through their, ex their experiences. And who knows, a lot of times, a lot of these people that everybody's like, oh, well, I can't really talk to them because they're very Christian. Have you read the book of Psalms? Have you seen what's in that book? They use it as power. So what you're doing when you call an answer, this doesn't matter if you're a pagan or not. They were this. So appeal to them on that level. And have them tap into that energy for you. That is the point. To elevate their spirits so that they can help you with your mundane life as well. That's pretty much the point of working with every spirit. Trying to have a balance of elevation for them. And elevation for yourself on this world. In a lot of different levels. So I cannot stress enough the importance of ancestors. Ancestry 
and working with people you know. One of my best friends, God rest his soul, Aunt Betty, my friend Danny told me very much. One time I was like, ooh, dodge the butt, sweet Jesus. And she said, why don't you call on somebody you know? And it was a funny joke, but it was true. Call on people you know, those ties that you have for your betterment when it comes to your ancestors. And ask for their, to ask for their enlightenment and development. Give them light and incense and water and talk to them. Start the dialogue up. And if you need to get with somebody to help you deal with your ancestors, great. Get a reading from me. There is a thing. Or get a reading from someone you your trust that's around you. But get with your ancestors. They're your first line of defense. They're your basis. They're your everything. From there, you go upward. The African saying says, if we are tall, if we stand tall, it is on the shoulders of our ancestors. Let that sink in. Work with what you got. Again, if you have any questions, comments, what have you, fill my comment section with comments. Knock yourself out. Um, share this again. And if it's helped you out in any way and you got a blessing, then I'm happy and I've done my job. I wish you all the best. Have a great Friday. Knock the weekend out and enjoy. Much love and roots, y'all.